What's going on guys? Austin here and uh, in this video we're going to be taking a look at 5 Minute Fantasy's Week 12 Booming and Busting Defenses. Uh, my boom defense this week is going to be f uh, the Buffalo Bills going up against Denver. Uh, I really like the Buffalo defense and although the team hasn't necessarily been performing uh, up to par, um, you know, especially with a, you know, with an uncomfortable loss to um, Cleveland, they have executed extremely well. Cleveland had five independent trips to the red zone with, I think it was 28, almost 30 total snaps, and they scored zero touchdowns, which, you know, I mean, it's just a, you know, it's a testament to how good Buffalo can get, especially when it matters most on the defensive side of the football. And going up against, uh, you know, Buffalo, going up against Denver, a team that, you know, they really don't know what they're doing too well offensively. I think that that could be a, a strong mismatch for them. Um, start Chicago going up against the Giants. I think that Chicago, if you notice the last couple weeks, uh, they haven't been giving up a lot of points. It seems like, it seems like uh, that Detroit game kind of gave them like a reinvigorated hope. Um, so up against the Giants, who they've got some pieces. They're not really a world beater on the offensive side of the football. And then, you know, Daniel Jones, who has been prone to turn the football over, whether it's throwing picks or fumbling the football. Chicago is really great at turning the football over. Um, so look for them to have a good game. And then I'm going to say start Philadelphia. Uh, I trust I trust the pieces that they have on the line uh, defensively. I don't really trust their secondary as much, but uh, they are just one week removed from a bye, one week from, you know, holding the uh, New England Patriots to, it was like 17 points, even though the the offense uh, turned the football over to help them with that. Um, I just don't really trust Russell Wilson as much as everyone's saying. Uh, I think that Philadelphia, their defense could potentially get, you know, five or six sacks in this game. Um, maybe a pick. It's not likely, but, you know, we'll see what happens. And then start Cleveland. Like I've been saying, this is they're going to say it's a statement game. They're going to come out. They're just going to beat the crap out of the Dolphins. They're going to talk a lot. But nonetheless... Go find Cleveland, start them in your fantasy lineups. Uh, teams to sit, San Francisco. I know that uh, in terms of fantasy defenses so far this year, it's been New England, San Francisco, and everybody else is way down here. But San Francisco, um, you know, clearly, you know, the a top two defense in the league. They're going up against Aaron Rodgers, who, you know, he's having a resurgent season. Aaron Jones, who, you know, is do doing way better than I thought he would running the football. I don't trust San Francisco coming off three consecutive weeks of, even though they've had high fantasy performances, a lot of that has been on the fact that they can either turn the ball over or score when they get the football. Green Bay teams don't turn the football over. So don't don't mistake that. This San Francisco 49ers defense is not going to be able to produce fantasy-wise uh, that well this week. I'm going to say sit Indianapolis. Um you know, going up against Houston, Deshaun Watson does not have bad games like he did last week. And Deshaun Watson has never played poorly in prime time. Uh, I think he's like 6-0 and in his prime in prime time in his career. Uh, it's like a total of like 19 touchdowns, 2 interceptions, like a 120 quarterback rating. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, even though I really do like Indianapolis' defense, it's, it's, it's overachieving. Um, it's what you'd think the Packers could be sometime soon. Not quite, um, but I don't think they're going to be able to do much uh, tonight up against Houston. Uh, sit Jacksonville up against Tennessee. Tennessee is on a, on a streak of averaging around like 26, 27 points per game uh, over the last three or four games, um, and they're coming off a bye. Um, I don't think that Jacksonville has the personnel anymore to stop the Tennessee Titans, especially with somehow everybody else is, everybody is playing better now that... Uh, Ryan Tannehill's in the lineup. And then sit Denver. Um, Denver needs to get sacks. Denver needs to get picks. Um, Josh Allen, he'll turn the ball over occasionally, but he doesn't need to in this game because they're going to be able to run the football extremely well against Denver. Um, and, you know, that's going to eliminate sacks. That's going to eliminate the need to throw bad passes. Um, so look for Denver to have a, an underwhelming performance this week defensively.